Hello students. Now in the series of lectures on the chapter the basic unit of life cell today we'll do the topic that is Golgi body. It is a cell organelle which is a single membrane bound and let's take up the details. Now this Golgi body is called by varied names. It can be called as Dalton complex. It is also called Baker's body. You can call it idiosome or it can also be called as lipochondria. So these are the different names for Golgi body. Now Golgi body is actually named after the discoverer of this cell organelle. The discoverer was Camilo Golgi. Camilo Golgi st was studying nerve cells in, owl, uh, in owls and cats. And at that time, during the staining techniques, he observed densely stained reticular structures near the nucleus. And he called them, and these were named, or he called them Golgi bodies. So that is the history, how they were found, who found it. Now inside, now the area around the cytoplasm, the area around the Golgi body, that is the cytoplasm around the Golgi body, they have few or no organelles at all. And so this region is known as zone of exclusion or Golgi ground substance. So you are getting it, the cytoplasm around the Golgi body, there are very less organelles or maybe no organelles at all. So it is called as Golgi ground substance or zone of exclusion. Now in plants, Golgi body is referred to as dictyosomes. Now here, this when you see the diagram over here, this are the cisterns, sister name. You can see I have written sister name. These are stacked upon one another. You can say you can count it one, two, three, four, five, six. Sister name are drawn over here. So this sister name, they are interconnected over here. But in plant cells, they are not connected with each other and they lie scattered in the plant cells. So they are called as dictyosomes. Now Golgi body is also said as traffic police of the cell. Why is it called that? We'll take up in the later part. Now let us see where are Golgi bodies found, the occurrence. Golgi bodies are found in all eukaryotic cells except mature sieve tubes of plants. These sieve tubes are part of phloem tissue. It, you can say it is one of the component of phloem tissue. So they are absent in mature sieve tubes. They are absent in RBC. I, here I have to add the word mature, RB, uh, mature RBC of mammals and they are absent in spermatozoa of bryophytes and pteridophytes. Now these are the kingdoms, these are the groups in plant kingdom, you will take, you will take this later on. Now they are also absent in prokaryotes that is bacteria or cyanobacteria. So this is the occurrence present in all eukaryotes, absent in prokaryotes with some exceptions. Now the number of Golgi body is generally 9 to 10 in number in plant cell. But it will rise or it will increase in number in those cells which are engaged in secretory activity. I have given you one example over here that is root cap cells. You know the root portion that is having a protective covering and that is called root cap. So here the number of Golgi bodies would be Increase that is root cap cells and Golgi bodies also increase at the time of cell division. Now, taking up the structure, depending on the 
shape they are divided into you can identify four shapes in golgi body first is the cisternae second are the tubules then there are vesicles and then vacuoles now what are cisternae you can see this these are sac like structure you can say flat saccules they are put one upon another so they are stack of flat structure sac like structures they may be about 6 to 8 in number okay so maximum one upon this uh, saccules they can number between 6 to 8 so they are stack of flat sac like structures 6 to 8 in number and this golgi body has definite polarity now this golgi body has a convex side and a concave side now the convex side is always facing the nucleus the convex side the convex surface of cistern this it is always directed towards nucleus or endoplasmic reticulum the convex side is facing the nucleus or endoplasmic reticulum from here it is getting the molecules different molecules and then they enter the golgi body we will take up later and forms the cis space or the forming phase or you also called it as f phase the convex surface is always directed towards nucleus or endoplasmic reticulum and that phase that side is called as cis space or forming phase or f phase this convex surface con concave surface sorry the concave surface is always directed towards the plasma membrane or the cell membrane so this positioning of golgi body that is convex surface and concave surface it is directed in partic towards particular structure this is called as polarity so golgi bodies have definite polarity which you have learned here now the concave surface is always facing towards the plasma membrane or the cell membrane and that is known as trans phase or maturing phase or you also call it as m phase now this cisternae they are the functional unit of golgi body now tubules now tubules you can see over here the blue colored structure actually it is not blue i have like highlighted to show you it is like this this is the cisternae and this portion you can see this part it is forming a tube like structure so this is basically occurring due to fenestration so tubules arise due to fenestration of cisternae fenestration means opening part okay so tubules arise due to fenestration of cisternae the next structure which you can see over here these are the small spheres right small rounds which which are easily seen now this are called vesicles spherical structures arise by budding from tubules you can see here this is a tubule and then over here the small structure is arising and then it comes out like this so these arise from the tubules they bud from the tubules and the structure that is formed in the as a result that is called vesicles or vesicles now these vesicles are filled by secretory materials now the next structure those are the vacuoles large spherical structures and they are also associated to tubules now here you can see small spheres if i draw a large spherical structure like this then this would be called as vacuole so this is only the difference small spherical structure is referred to as vesicle and large one is referred to as vacuole so these are the four components or the four shapes which you can see in the 
स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ बॉल्जी बॉडी सिस्टर ने ट्यूब्यूल्स वेसाइकल्स एंड वेक्टर्स नाउ वी हैव टेकन अबाउट अट डिटेल्स ऑफ बॉल्जी बॉडी नाउ लेट्स नो द फंक्शंस व्हिच बॉल्जी बॉडी परफॉर्म्स नाउ द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ बॉल्जी बॉडी इज सेल सिक्रीशन राइट इट सिक्रीट्स मटेरियल ओके and these materials or the molecules which are secreted you can see this vesicles they are having in them they are storing in them secretory substances now these will be sent to all those parts of the cells which are in requirement of that material as well as they will cross the plasma membrane and also be supplied outside the cell so the first function or i can say the chief function is cell secretion and there would be export of these macromolecules means they will go outside the cell as well and this is the reason why golgi body is called director of macromolecular traffic in cells or middleman of the cell now actually what happens the endoplasmic reticulum you know there are two kinds i have taken endoplasmic reticulum in the previous lecture it is rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum you refer as rer and scr now rer is busy in making proteins and enzymes whereas this smooth endoplasmic reticulum makes lipids steroid substances hormones etc so when this are like they leave the endoplasmic reticulum here you can see transfer of vesicles from aria here this molecules this vesicles then they enter into the golgi body and inside here they would be stored they would be condensed or they would be modified and finally this actually golgi body is doing the work of packaging Okay, it is getting material from endoplasmic reticulum. It is going to modify. It is going to condense, or it is going to like store them till required. And final product is then released from this part. So from this part, they are entering transfer of vesicles from area. So it is entering from the this part or the forming phase. Okay, then it enters over here, and from this phase, that is a trans phase or maturing phase. they are released in form of vesicles or maybe vacuoles and inside this vesicles or vacuoles are the secretory substances now let's see another function it is site of formation of glycolipids and glycoproteins okay so it is receiving carbohydrates it is having lipids it is also having proteins so what it is going to do supposing this is carbohydrate chain this is protein chain now both of them will be joined that is modification okay so this joining of two molecular chain that is giving rise to glyco protein now supposing this is your glucose chain okay and this is your lipid chain when they get together the chain that is going to form is glyco lipids so it is basically forming glycolipids and glycoproteins so that is another point the the formation the procedure by which it forms glycolipids and glycoproteins that is called as glycosylation or glycosidation these are terms which are used in biochemistry in fact it also joins small carbon there is a sugar molecules together okay that is also done in golgi body now the second function is synthesis of cell wall it forms the material for cell wall and that is polysaccharide it also makes cell plate that is phragmoplast during the time of cell division when cell undergoes division and finally everything is okay and the cell needs to just become divide itself into two at that time golgi body it makes the phragmoplast or you can say the cell plate okay so that is the another function 
the next function it is forms acrosome of the sperm acrosome is also a vesicle found in the head of the sperm and it is containing lytic enzymes and this enzyme help in dissolving the membrane of the ova so that is it forms acrosome of the sperm it also forms the vitelline membrane of the egg vitelline membrane means the outermost membrane of an egg so it forms the vitelline membrane of egg and this is also done by golgi body now it also forms lysosomes and secretory vesicles by exocytosis okay so endoplasmic reticulum and golgi body together they are responsible in formation of lysosomes they are secreted from golgi body but both of them it is teamwork of endoplasmic reticulum and golgi body to form lysosomes and also secretory vesicles you can see vesicles are entering at this cis phase and leaving at the trans phase this are the, this is the newly formed this is pinching off so this is the newly formed vesicle so that is it so these are the functions of golgi body i repeat again it is site of formation of glycolipids and glyco proteins by the process or by the process you can will say process only glycosylation or glycosidation it helps in making of cell wall material that is a polysaccharide it also help in formation of cell plate at the time of cell division it also helps in formation of acrosome of sperm it also helps in formation of vitelline membrane of an egg and it also forms lysosomes and secretory vesicles by exocytosis exocytosis means sending vesicles out of the cell and this golgi body is known as the director of macromolecular traffic in the cell or middleman of the cell or you can also call it traffic police of the cell as it is directing the molecules in the cell as well as outside the cell that's all for golgi bodies you can post your queries and comments please like subscribe and share my videos in the next consecutive lecture will take up lysosomes and fact vectors and you now my pace of uploading videos will be faster